हेलो फ्रेंड्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक to all on on law today i'm going to talk about the characteristics of normal labor this is a obgyn topic normal labor okay guys so let's talk about the basic things about the characteristics of normal labor this is for usml examination usml e examination this is usml per Okay, let's start about the stages of normal labor. We have four stages: stage one, stage two, then we have stage three and a stage four, right? In a stage one, we have two. One is a latent, and other is active phase, right? So now let's talk about the stage one. We have a latent and the what you call active phase. Remember. we have two things to remember one is in a primary gravida okay the single mother and the multi gravida a mother with a multiple child more than one child okay now let's talk about the uh, what you call a first stage i'm going to talk very briefly okay the stage one starts from the onset of true labor and it's end with the what you call full cervical dilatation okay onset of uh, what you call a true labor to full cervical dilatation or dilation okay whereas the latent phase starts from what uh, it calls a uh, 0 to what you call a uh, 3 to 4 cm of what you call a uh, cervical dilatation 3 to 4 okay and it's a slow and irregular slow and irregular remember the latent phase in a primary gravida okay in a primary gravida the the first stage usually uh, in a primary gravida is less than 20 hours it's going to because it's going to take more time this is the first pregnancy that's why the ligaments has to stretch and everything has to change a new change in the body that's it's going to take a longer time whereas in a multi gravida it's very less that's less than 14 hours okay latent phase from 0 to 3 4 hours for centimeter dilatation slow and irregular is a highly variable in a primary gravida and the multi gravida whereas active phase is starts from 3 to 4 cm of dilatation to full dilatation okay and it's a rapid and regular rapid and regular okay whereas in the primary gravida the active phase uh, it's going to take more than 1 cm of dilatation per hour okay whereas in multi gravida it's going to take 1.2 cm per hour dilatation 1.2 it's a more than 1 cm that's it and it's going to be more than 1.2 and it's going to be more than 1 it means in a multi gravida they will have a more rapid dilatation that's it you can remember whereas in a second stage of the labor it starts from the full dilatation to birth of an infant full dilatation to birth of infant okay and in a primary gravida it lasts for 30 minutes to 3 hours okay whereas uh, in multi gravida it can last for 5 minutes to 30 minutes okay in the third stage starts from what we call delivery of the infant that's a birth to the delivery of the placenta placenta and it's 0 to 3 30 minutes it's going to be maximum 30 minutes in primary gravida and it's going to be same in multi gravida the fourth phase from a placenta of delivery placenta to maternal stabilization maternal stabilization so mom has to be stabilized and it's less than 48 hours in primary gravida and it's also same thing what we see in the primary gravida it's same in multi gravida that's less than 48 hours but the multi gravida try to do better okay so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you came to know few points about uh, normal labor and uh, very helpful for uh, usml examination and for other medical students and for pharmacy students okay guys thank you so much for watching this video take care